this micro needle patch is an exciting development that's a great example of how NIH funded research and innovation and technology can improve the lives of all of us. The micro needle patch uh, is a dime sized patch of needles that are so tiny you can barely see them with the naked eye. And within this dime there'll be a hundred or so of these tiny needles that are so small that when you place them on the skin they don't cause any pain even after they penetrate the skin and they are biodegradable because they can dissolve in water. Because they are needles you can use them for an injection of a vaccine or even drugs uh, such as insulin. So here is the beauty of this uh, innovation and the thing that's really appealing about it. Actually, there are several things. But one of them is that the microneedle patch has embedded in it a vaccine that is dried. It's not in a liquid form, as is typically the case when you get an injection in your arm uh, from the physician or your nurse. But in this dried state, it's within the micro needle or on the surface of the needle. And once the needles are applied, the vaccine is delivered. Because it's dried, it doesn't require refrigeration. The fact that it doesn't require refrigeration opens up fantastic possibilities for how you can store it and distribute it. It could be placed on the shelf in a drugstore, for example. You could go in and just pick up your vaccine, take it home and apply it yourself. Or imagine that you go to your mailbox and get an envelope, and in that has your vaccine for the year. You go in the house, put it on your arm, just like you would a Band-Aid, press it a little bit, five minutes later, it's totally dissolved. You peel this off. There is no hazardous material to dispose of because the needles or uh, biodegradable and melt literally in the skin and you're vaccinated. That's a wonderful advance. It improves the accessibility because you can distribute it easily. It doesn't require a, a professional because you can do it yourself. So it's a fantastic innovation.